Hey Star Wars fans, welcome back to another Star Wars Black Series action figure review. Now, I'm glad to be making a video, it's been a little bit over a week since I've done a video. It's uh, just had a little bit of a crazy week or two. Um, but yeah, I need to get this room cleaned up and uh, back into making some videos. So stay tuned because I will have more, um, hopefully more frequently too. Um, as opposed to what's been coming out the last couple of weeks. But this time we are looking at the new Anakin Skywalker from the Clone Wars in the uh, sort of 2008 style Clone Wars inspired packaging, which is absolutely awesome. Now these haven't hit down under yet. They're due to in the next week or two, um, I believe, from memory. Um, but yeah, I got this one shipped over from, from Singapore, I think. Um, so yeah, really, really happy to have this one. Um, just wanted to get this one early and then when my next Anakin comes in, I'll, um, keep that one on the card. So really excited to have this one in hand. I can't wait to open him up. It looks fantastic on the card. I love the packaging for this one. Nice picture of the animated Anakin there, staying true to the, uh, Packaging from 2008, the 50th anniversary Lucasfilm logo, and then on, on the back we have the 50th anniversary Lucasfilm timeline. There's the sticker, so you can see it's from, um, you know, it originated in Asia. So that's cool. So yeah, I'm going to open this one up. So uh, let's do it and take a look. All right, here is this awesome, awesome figure straight out of the packaging. I'm pretty stoked with this. It's so good to finally have it in hand after seeing everyone in the States give them for like the last, you know, month. Um, so you do a little 360 here on my table, uh, which is the only table I sort of have available at the moment because everything else is covered in figures from videos I did two weeks ago. I just haven't got around to cleaning it up. Um, so yeah, really, really really pumped with this figure and uh it's because i hadn't cleaned it up let's stand the original down here next to him so that's kind of cool <laughs> i like that a lot that's really awesome i love this look for anakin i think it's really cool um always did dig this sort of i don't know the sort of chest armor that's reminiscent of vader um the sort of stylized colors the i like the blues and the maroons um there's just something about that that's just really, really cool. Head sculpt's fantastic. I'll just zoom up on that one. Now, I don't necessarily think it looks like Hayden Christensen so, so much, but I don't think they've actually tried to go for that. I think they've literally tried to um, realize the, uh, the animated style. There's maybe a touch of Hayden in there. I actually feel like there's a little bit of Matt Lanter in there as well, but, you know, I'm no expert. I didn't sculpt it, so I'm not sure. It would have been awesome if they had took a little bit of influence. There are just some angles that looks a little bit like Matt Lanter. There are some that looks a little bit like Hayden. Um, but yeah, they've definitely gone for a little bit of a stylish, stylistic freedom there with the sculpt. I'm not necessarily trying to nail a likeness of uh, Hayden because we uh, haven't seen him in this this sort of outfit. so. But I think they've done a really good job. Looks great. It's much better than uh, the other Anakins that have come out so far in Black Series. I like the scar there over his right eye. The sculpting of the hair is nice. It's sort of that, you know, post Attack of the Clones. You know, probably six months later. Not quite Re Revenge of the Sith yet. But yeah, it looks good. I love the Jedi logo on the shoulder armor there, which is great. Now, for the most part, this is sort of a pretty basic figure underneath with the, uh, you know, sort of soft plastic uh, sort of armor over the top, which is cool. Same with the skirt. Now, I actually thought, I didn't actually realize this was fabric underneath, so... I'm really, really excited about that. I think that's fantastic. I thought that was just going to be plastic as well. And I haven't actually watched anyone's reviews because I sort of just really wanted to hang out and wait till I got this thing in my in my hand myself because I was just so pumped about these figures. Um, so yeah, I, I sort of intentionally didn't go and watch anyone's reviews, but 
now that I have it in hand, I'm going to go back and get everyone else's thoughts on it. So I can't wait, wait can't wait to sit down and do that as well. Uh, he's using the same legs as the Revenge of the Sith and Attack of the Clones Anakin. He's got the same boots, I'm pretty sure, anyway. But they look good. Yeah, I just really like the uh, the color scheme on this this one here. It looks fantastic. There's his glove, gauntlet, lightsaber. Does have a peg on it, and that will sit nicely on the uh, peg hole on his belt, which is awesome. I love that feature. I don't know. I love the gloved hand on the other hand as well. I think that's really cool. I, I just really like the design. Uh, the articulation is great too. He's got the uh, butterfly joint in there and that's also made up you can just sort of see under there that this shoulder armor piece is sort of just an extra little bit in there that's sort of pushed in there before the arm just to sort of give these sort of natural movability with the arms as well and not have it sort of stuck to the arm or tied to the uh, chest armor there so it's its own sort of individual piece which is great for our posing purposes now he's got the double jointed neck, so joint in the bottom and in the t in and in the head, so that's really cool. And yeah, he's just back got all the updated updated articulation, you know, uh, except the legs. They still got the little pinless pin joints in there, but the elbows are pinless, which is awesome. And the fact that you get those butterfly joints I mean you can bring the uh, hands together and have him holding with both hands, so that's awesome. Yeah, I'm really stoked on this figure. I can't wait for the rest, particularly Obi-Wan. Hopefully in the next week or two. They will be arriving at our EB Games and Zing Pop Culture stores here in Australia. So yeah, definitely. I believe up until this point they are still up for pre-order so you can get a hold of them and uh, hopefully get a hold of them soon. So I'd love to hear your thoughts. Please drop them in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do. I'm looking forward to uh, getting back and making some videos. It's been a couple of quiet weeks. Um, probably no live stream until next week. Um, I know I haven't done one of them in a couple of weeks either. Um, I've just had a couple of busy Saturday nights. So, And this week I'm going to see Black Widow. So if, I'm, if I feel like it, I might do one later that night. So... I definitely want to get back on the live streams and news has been quiet anyway, so, but yeah, I look forward to jumping back on and, and chatting with you fine folks very, very soon. So thanks for watching. Really do appreciate it. Till my next video, may the force be with you always.